G'day, welcome back. So back from Japan, actually filmed a video the, uh, last week, but none of the media came through. My media mod on my GoPro is broken, so uh, frustrating. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Alistair Bird. We farm here in Oxford, North Canterbury, New Zealand. So got a lease block, that's where we are here now. Got a hill block that's uh, up there on the hills. Yeah, so 625 hectares in total, sheep and beef, mostly store finishing, nah, store, yeah. Not much, not much finishing. So down here at the lease block, we're feeding grain. So we've got the grain buggy on behind the ute. We are feeding to these ewes who are still mating. You see a few of the red marks there. They don't like it that I'm talking, they're all walking away from the grain. Red marks, so the rams have got crayons on. Uh, second cycle, so we put them on the other day. Uh, we're two thirds of the way through, three quarters of the way through mating. So rams have been busy in the last uh, week or so mating all these ones with red on them. So there's a ram over there with this harness on. You probably can't see that. Uh, yeah, so the reason for that is when it comes time to lamb, we can split them out. We can lamb the first cycle, second cycle differently. We can rotate this first cycle around uh, quicker, earlier. We can tail them earlier. We can do all that stuff. It's the aim of getting them away to the works or to a store farm earlier, more money uh, before the dry. Yeah, just gives us another management option. So things are going well down here. User in good nick. They're loving their grain. And uh, we'll head home, head up the hill and check on the ones up there. Doing some gardening, yeah. wee bit of pruning. Um, I think you've got your work cut out for you. Mmm, <laughs> blackberries. Yum. There's quite a few here. Got lots of apples at home too. Should be in the kitchen, eh? Yum. Do pigs eat berries? Yep. Wow. Luxury out here. Wild bees. Not allowed to go near it in case I get stung. Hey. What? Not allowed to go near it in case I get stung. Well, probably well. <laughs> He's not wrong there. Harder. Yeah, come on, love. I know the blackberries were good, but not worth getting stuck. No, I said, oh, there's a lot of blackberries. And obviously, she thought the same. She'll get out just as you're there. There you go. Nope. Look back at you like, yeah, what now? Sometimes the wall gets hooked on the blackberry and they get stuck. Prune a little on your way up. 
Just like that. Just like that. Now where we up to? Up here. Put the camera. Shot a gate for the cows. Oh, don't walk away. It was a good shot. Oh well. So up here on the hill, we've got uh, ewes in here. These two paddocks, I need to muster them into this one. This is a new fence line we did, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. There's about three videos using the king header for that. Uh, the cows are up this ridge up here, kind of all the way. Well, there's some there, I don't know how far they've gone up. And then there's some up this gully up here too. So they've got about three weeks ish pretty much before they're ready to come in and get weaned um yeah so calves are looking good it's just a case of keeping them fully fed now and uh getting the best dollar for them so fence seems to be working all right no use we've got through here so yeah that's a win we've got diesel We've got a rescue to perform. Oh, just been down the least block, fed the grain down there. Come home. There's a cat stuck up the tree. One of the kittens. I'll throw a ladder up and hopefully it'll come down. <laughs> Way up there. Oh, that's all right, we'll get you down. was an old ladder that my grandfather got off the power company because it had a, a break in it and they wouldn't mend it and fix it so he mended it now we've got it right you Those are up pretty quick. And we're done. Put that back on there. Got a little friend now, I saved you from the tree, eh? 
Come here. Come here. Hi. Yeah. Mm, you thinking me? Just make sure the dog doesn't chase you. So we just had a meeting with um, Jenna's dad, the land, well, landowner here, uh, about some more tourism stuff. So uh, about the back carpenters and walking tracks, bits and pieces. So it's pretty exciting stuff going forward there. Uh, I think we're all on the same page. Uh, just update about fencing and planting trees and bits and pieces. So that was good to have that. Uh, we're just taking the tractor up the hill. I've got one more trough pad to do uh, that I never got done when we did our water scheme. And I want to get it done because uh, the use the hill use will come back down here to start their flushing. Um, you know, two weeks out before the ram goes out, we start flushing them. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. And I want to get it done before I go away on Monday, going away for a week again. Uh, yeah, seems like I've spent more time away than I have on the farm recently, but. Um, we just, uh, rather than walk the digger up here all the way, we just got the greater blade on the back. So we're going to give this a go. And uh, it's a wee bit drizzly, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I think we'll be alright. So this is our spot in question. We've got the old plastic trough that we were using, but the pressure is too high. So it was flexing the plastic and then leaking. So we're just going to try and level out a pad just in here. Well, uh, yeah, see how we go. Right, we're running out of battery, but uh, a couple of swipes through here, it's not too bad. We'll chuck the level on and see how we're getting on. Uh, a bit too high on the, some more out of that side. It's not too bad though. Let's see for this way. Oh yeah, it's a wee bit high in there as well. So a bit of tickling up and uh, chuck you guys on the fence here and see how we get on. See if you'll stay there. Will you stay there? Oh, I reckon I can do all that. Uh, with a shovel, tidy that up. We'll dig a hole for the for the water pipe to go through. Just on the scene, should be good. Right, got our trench for the water pipe. Got our pad. It's all pretty good. We'll head up here and do some more uh, track grading. Just while we got the the grader up here. And uh, yeah, check this water pressure out. It's pretty good. <laughs> the new scheme's pretty awesome. So this is what I've been up to last wee bit. A, um, as you've seen in some other videos, this gets really muddy in the winter when we're working kettle um, or just doing any kettle work really in the yard so I'm going to concrete this up uh, 3.7 meters long by 1200 wide comes to just just under half a cubic meter of concrete so we've got a concrete mixer uh, it's going to take a fair bit it's not worth running a truck out for half a cube so we'll just mix it up ourselves and uh, yeah but that'll probably be next week's job definitely uh, all week after uh, yeah right so end of the end of the day today we're going to head inside because this is we're getting rain but it's just this drizzly gloomy stuff so sheep work tomorrow no matter what the weather is we need to draft up some lambs and uh drench them so that'll be happening tomorrow we'll see you then good morning in there in the sheep yards just got these ewe lambs in we're gonna draft them up so we've got the race wheel all set up don't mind the mess uh, race will all set up so down to 25 kilos for the drafting uh, just stall lambs see how many we can get away if uh, the finisher who we have been dealing with all season uh, want them so got a few horse riders turning up so 
I'll go and take you to around the hills for a few hours. Um, yeah, the, for all accounts, uh, the store price has shit itself again in New Zealand. So I think we're down, well, the prime price dropped. And then with the drought in Canterbury, a uh, whole east coast of, north of uh, New Zealand, really. And then um, I think the the prime price has dropped as well. So we're probably looking at $2.40-ish per kilo for these guys. Um, bit gutting, end of the season, but it's just a, what else would you expect for a shitty season like this. All right, we'll get these weighed up and see, uh, see how they've done. So you see these uh, little anti-backing things that were in the Tapari catalogue the other day? So they just uh, stuck them on their website. You see photos from here. But I see these, they've got a nail, they've got a hole. So when you don't want them, you chuck a nail in there and uh, they stay locked. So you don't have to take them out when you're drafting or anything like that. They're pretty, yeah, they work pretty good. Come on, ratbags. Here you go. Comedy. Come on. I was just saying how good that was. And you don't want to run past it. Come on, you. There you go. And you. Get over. Get over, sweet. Good boy. They're not doing too badly, most of them, uh, so these were all under 25 kilos when we did our last draft. So, um, yeah, most of, them are, most of them are above 25 kilos now, so more close to the 33, 28, yeah. So they've, they've, done, they've done all right, considering uh, we're not flush with grass, so, um, yeah, still worth it. Come on, you, have you hop. Come on, get on the platform properly. There you go. Here we go. Move that forward a little bit. There we go. Right, who we got next? You. Go on up. There you go. So we ended up with 100 in here, 23 in here. So, not too bad. If enough with that result. Uh, we just got the last of the weather lambs to bring in and draft them up, but there's some prime, should be some prime ones in there, so we'll, uh, oh, we'll do that. Uh, and then get to drenching. So here in the cable plantain, we'll just turn this off. So here in the cable plantain, uh, these lambs have been in here for about a month now. So there's only about 60 in here, I think. But yeah, they've, they've nibbled away a wee bit of leaf, but not too bad. Um, but then, yeah, we'll just let, uh, I don't know, I don't know whether I'll put more in here or not, or just let it come away for winter. Um, yeah, we'll see how big the mob is when we get, uh, get around to it. So we'll get these in and get these drafted up. I love this time on the farm. This time of year, after some autumn rains, you get mushrooms. So we always go and collect a few. Oh, look at that, beautiful. It's a bit older, that one. I'll leave those ones for next time. The old Kiwi farmer hat comes in well, collecting mushrooms. Oh, these would be good for my lunch. That's a bit old, that one. Come down here. Oh, lovely.
still a few left look at that for a little haul and i think there's some more down here somewhere uh, oh they're a bit old those ones so they always talk about when mushrooms come around it's uh facial eczema time but since we're here in south island at the moment uh we don't get facial eczema so but uh we did get it a wee bit up north where i grew up put them through there without wrecking them all right let's go and chase these lambs down we've got uh some good prime lambs in here actually here's some big um oh both ram lambs and weather lambs in there uh we've got about 125 ish of store lambs in there so that'd be good we'll give them a drench and we might put them on the crop where these ones came from uh, and then these ones can go back with the shed lambs that were on the grain and the manolu but we've kind of finished that trial now uh, and then these ones where are these ones going to go I don't know they might have to go up on the hill up here and their own wee mob uh, below 25 kilos what's there 20 odd in there so right we'll uh, run these through start drenching them Hundred and twenty three store lambs. About 40, 40 something in that mob with big ram lambs and big weather lambs. So they'll um yeah, they'll get sorted out sometime into prime and not prime. Um yeah, some of them are grain feed, so they'll just have to go to Canberra Park or they'll go to the works, but they won't be here. The not tick the tick the box that says grass fed. Um, so yeah. We'll go and start letting these ones out. They can start wandering back to a paddock they're gonna to go to. But first, I was gonna put uh, put this drench data into Farm IQ. Had an audit the other day, and Farm IQ was pretty handy for that, but they wanted me to record some more information. So we're already recording a lot, um, but we have to record more, so do this um, that one there will do we got 124 get out applicator was me treatment was a drench there product was alliance uh, batch number, that's a batch number. Uh, application was an oral. Rate was 5 mils. Just like that. Save. There we go. Easy peasy. And it has the batch number in there already loaded in. Because we did our um, inventory. Right, we'll go take these guys away. Ow. You big pushy bugger. Get outside, Jasper. Come on, in you go. There we go. Make me work like that. Gosh. Right, ram limbs in the Italian paddock. They'll be good in there until it's time to draft them up for uh, selling prime. What are you doing in there? Not meant to be in the wall shed. Rams. Right, we'll go and open the gate for these other ones to come out and they can wander to their paddock. Aren't you boys and girls? So this afternoon after doing those lambs, just been running around getting a whole bunch of stuff sorted. So got the trough changed from Oxford Ag for these. Got Jenna here after school helping me out. This is date time, isn't it? Yeah, after school. <laughs> it's after school. Um, yeah, so we've got trough chains and then got some 
uh, builders mix and some cement ready to concrete that wee bit of the carry yards as well. So just going to shoot up the hill, hopefully it uh, isn't been raining too much so we'll be alright and uh, we'll get this placed. Be one less job we have to worry about. These are, what are they? Uh, slippery yeah. jacks. I believe. And the toadstools up there. Are they slippery jacks? Because they've got fins. I don't know if they do. Oh, they might be. What are those other ones then? I remember. Anyway, we did talk about mushrooms on here when I picked the other ones that we're going to have for dinner tonight. Because yeah, I, I went to the pie shop for lunch, so. Okay. They weren't my lunch. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Levelish, level enough. We're just gonna uh, got a ball cock to put on. Have you? Yep. Oh, Cut the bungs to put in there. Some bungs. Bung her up. For him, for it. So, um, I just have two bungs here somewhere. Where do they go? One's got to go over there. Tell us about that tape. Thread tape? Mm -hmm. Bit of thread tape. Yeah, what does it do? Stop things from leaking through the thread. Is that because it's not quite the right size? Oh, it's just plastic. So it's plastic on plastic without uh, an o ring or a seal or anything. So it can be a bit um, suspect on the, the actual sealing surface. So you just put, put a bit of thread tape on there to make sure that it seals properly and you don't have to come back and fix leaks. We're all about doing things once and doing them right here, Jenna. Are we? Yep. Most of the time. <laughs> Until we don't do it right and then we've got to go back and do it again. Is that why there's a plastic trough over there? Yeah. <laughs> it's, all part of the, it's all part of the plan. Sure is. Look at the soil profile here. Look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. Isn't it lovely? And what does this tell you? It tells you that we're getting a little dry down here. A little bit of dryness. See the grass roots only go so far down. I'm not going to lie, there's no, uh, not great signs of soil health. There's no worms. The worms not like we're living in rocks. Apparently not. They don't do well living in rocks. I don't know. Did you get footage at the AMP show or did the microphone not work? Uh, no, it didn't work. Can you just use it without the noise? Oh, we could, I suppose. Yep. Stupid GoPro. Well, you know what they say. What do they say? When technology doesn't work. What do they say? I don't know. Something about oh, tools and the user and... thought you had some wise words of wisdom there. I do, but they're not coming out. <laughs> Isn't it? You don't blame the tool, you blame the user. What's that? That? Yeah, but that, this this one, the, the tool was actually broken. So. No point in blaming me. No, I don't want to do that. It's a few wee shout outs from the show actually. A few people that um we had a chat to. Yep. Which um is always very cool. Well shout out to the, the the lady called Kimmy who helped Georgia get her entries in. <laughs> is it they from Auckland? I don't know. I was too busy flandering around with my flowers. Oh no, I spoke to them afterwards. Oh, shout out to them. Yep. They live 
or they bought a block just over there. In the mist. On German Road. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to the kid who I saw at the pub, which means they probably weren't a kid. Lives down the road somewhere. And. Oh, the other one you talked to at the pub. Oh, Harrison. Yep, some good conversation there. Harrison from Kickering. Wow, that's where he is. From Oxford, but working in. Melbourne. Yep. No, I really enjoy talking farm systems and different ideas and different ways of doing things. You're such and a geek. Even when you go out, I wasn't really farming. Out. <laughs> You're at the pub. Yeah, hooing it at up. At what time? Midnight. Well, yeah, we <laughs> couldn't keep talking farming because it's shut for Easter. No, that was. Yeah, I like that. I like talking farming when it's relevant. I don't like talking dairy farming. Sorry, guys. All right, I don't know how many dairy farmers we have on here anyway. <laughs> Very few. Yeah, there's a few. All right, time to get wet. I'm too lazy to drive up the hill and turn the water off. Is it lazy or efficient? Let's just call it efficient, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, it is nearly six o'clock at night on a Friday. Is it Friday? Yeah. I showed the people the pressure the other day. Did you? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Check that pressure out. Pretty good. Now if that's not impressive, I don't don't know what is. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't get you uh, excited. Wet. Yeah. Oh hang on, this is kids rated. Yeah. The hose. Oh, it's getting a level wet. Uh oh. I'm not sure I want to go in there. No, you don't have to. There you go. Oh, sacrifice. <laughs> oh no. I'm not oh, sure it was efficient then. Oh no. <laughs> it's all turning pear shaped. So I can grab that pickaxe thing. So you can grab the what? Pickaxe thing. What about it? It's in the water. So maybe we won't call that efficient. Yeah, that is efficient. Right, you keep that push down. Just stay here. Right. I don't even have paint on my hands. Mm. Art today. Really? Yeah. That's good. There's some poppy, poppies in the field. Oh, some Anzac Day stuff? Yeah. Very good. Oh, too much. For that one. Don't lift your head up real quick, because my head's above yours. Okay. <laughs> you don't want me to knock your teeth out? Nah, I need my teeth. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> uh. Right, there we go. Let it go. Oh, I don't see any leaks. This is <laughs> You know what you should get? Huh? You know what you should get? What? Turn around. No. Kiwi farmer singlet. Well, I don't have a Kiwi farmer singlet on, no. Just keep showing your little back space. 
for that space. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the cows still nudge them around. Yeah, not too bad, these ones. It's the Plastic rectangle one. troughs. Oh. They tend to... Um, Even concrete? To nudge around. Yeah. The rectangle troughs, the ones that we've got, they don't fit on there as well as these do. Oh. Well, these, there's a wee bit of movement, but they don't... Not too bad. Cows haven't figured them out yet. Isn't it? See if I had the digger up here I would have dug a big hole and done the, the out of the pipe properly to put it down further. But I didn't, so I didn't. <laughs> but we're gonna do this. Pack that in there. when cattle stand on there they break the fitting mm. like what's happened before yes Whoa. how can you put it that way up and so it's nice and soft on the pipe no, I don't know <laughs> just doing shit just what I'm doing just the way it worked yep I called the kids in with my dog whistle today. Did you? Well, they were all spread out in the field and it was three o'clock and I was like, oh crap. How am I going to call them in? So I did a dog whistle. And they're all farm kids, so. Well, yeah, they. A lot of them. A lot of them knew. They, a lot of them said, is that a dog whistle? Like, because I, they've just said it over the last few months. So they obviously know. Good. Coming in a bit grey. What's that? She's coming in a bit grey. Have to come up here with the bucket and uh, and um cover it up. Fill this trench. Let me kick this stuff over. Hmm? If you want, yeah. Look, I'm so helpful. Because I don't have the desire no. or the energy to do it all with a shovel. Right. You know what, you say that, but... What's that? You say that, but I almost guarantee you're going to get to like here and go, I might as well do it all. Uh, I'll do some. Yeah. <laughs> I won't do it all. Get it here first, folks. Yeah, farmer's being lazy. Lazy? I don't know. Can you really pull that lazy? You know what I'm like with that word. There's dogs on the other hand. It's kind of annoying not having your hands free. How do you do this? How I do know, you, right. How do you... That's why I brought you along. Oh, okay. To film. Yeah. So you reckon you're not going to finish this trench? He's not going to do it all, are you? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. No. No, I'm just going to cover the pipe. Is that not what that means? But the... Oh, you're going to make it even. Eventually. Flush. Or the stock will just do that. Yeah. Will that remove this rock? Or do you uh, put... Yes, please. Yeah. But the rock is just so different to river rock, isn't it? To what rock? River, river stones. Yes. 
It is. It's so sharp. The kind of thing that punctures your tires. And the pipe. Cuts your hands. Yeah. You're trying to fence. Yeah. yeah. Splits your head open if you fall on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Can't bury dead body in. <laughs> what? That's a bit dark, do you know? Oh well, you know, just in case there was anyone poaching up here, I just thought. Oh, yeah, poachers, eh? Yeah. About here? I'm starting to have a bit of that. Yeah. I was talking to someone today actually and they said, oh I saw a photo of a deer and it looked like it was on your place. Hmm. And I was like, well, they're not, I don't know who they are and they're not meant to be on our place. So I asked them for a name and he wouldn't give it to me. Ooh. Oh. We have our ways of finding out. Yeah, it all come out. Yeah, it all comes out in the wash. It always does. I mean, the cameras help. Yeah. Yep. They do. Right. And the local knowledge. And the neighbours. And our binoculars. The neighbours are pretty good. <laughs> and the police. And, and the hunters that we have on here. Hunters that we have. Them. Yeah. They're good at keeping the ear to the ground. Well, it's their patch. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad that you didn't waste your time and energy like filling that in by hand, eh? But it's not filled in. <laughs> that bit needs more. Yeah, and I mean, you won't do it. No. No. You want to get back and make me dinner, eh? Yeah. What have we got? Oh, steak. After the ribeye steak tonight. Yeah. Oh. New Zealand beef. Not Japanese beef. Yeah. I do like it. Well, you can have it on the yakiniku cooker, though. Well, I thought that's what we were going to do. And mushrooms that I picked. Yeah. Um... I'm oh. cold now and we let's go. Yeah, let's go. We're done. How are we gonna right, put everybody. all these in the cab? Oh, are you finaleing? Oh, we might as well finish off here. <laughs> Friday night. Uh, look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look Perfect. at that. Uh, What's she doing to me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Went off camera. Right. Friday afternoon, finish the trough. We're gonna call it the. Uh, Got some lambs to drench and uh, we'll re replacement new lambs to drench tomorrow. Concreting to do tomorrow or Sunday. So, a little bit of mustard. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. mustard down. Start flushing hill ewes. <sighs> yeah, lots to do. It is cold, it's just coming cold. Right. Goodbye. We will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching and uh, have a good weekend. Crack on. Crack on. <laughs> You're a crack on. <laughs>